Um, What's this? Okay, okay, okay. Sex fears. Sex fears. So this is Europeans and Americans. The rest of the world can fuck itself. Like <laughs> exactly. So this this was a survey done by this website. I'm a bit skeptical about the methodology, okay. but I think it's still interesting because the the results are um, how many are, how many people? Make sense. What was the it was uh, like two two thousand people more or less? So it's a good oh, nice two, two, nice. but like that's like two whole ass continents like for in two thousand people. I feel like that's way too ah, small. Yeah, yeah, no, the sample size is, is small. Right? Like they didn't, they didn't say their their methodology, um, like whether it was a random sample or not. Like they didn't say how they they found these people. So I'm very skeptical about the methodology, okay. but I think it's still useful because the inferences they make about like the ranking the fears doesn't make sense about okay. what people fear the most. The I most, think, okay. or like it, do, it doesn't necessarily not make sense. It's just that you can't. You can't take this data as sacrosanct because, again, the methodology okay. is unclear. Uh, but the fears themselves are actually very, very common fears. I think they're interesting. Okay. And, but what's your most common fear during sex? I, have a, I, have I don't think I have any fears during sex. Really? Like, no, I have. I'm I have, really like <laughs> on top of the world during sex. Like, no, I have. I have one, which is um, I'm afraid that during dirty talk, I'm gonna mix up like um, your and my. So I'll say something like, I can't wait to put your cock in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done that before, but we just laughed it off. Like. Exactly, exactly. But I feel like, I feel like there's, <laughs> if you don't laugh in the morning, if you let yourself get like in your head about it, there's no coming back from that. There's no coming back from that. You just fuck, there, there. You're trying to be like all dominant, like, yeah, I can't wait to shove my dick in your mouth. And in fact, you just say, I can't wait to shove your dick in my mouth. There's no coming back from that. No, really. <laughs> oh my, okay, okay. So let's go through people's uh, top fears. Okay. Um, number so one. So this is so men. This is men versus women. Okay. Okay. So for men, it's number one. Your partner has an STD. Mm-hmm. Number two, your partner won't have an orgasm or be satisfied. Never have that issue. Boom. Um, <laughs> number three. You're going to have like five of my exes comment like, actually, <laughs> I just said that to make you feel better. Yeah. You know, like, I feel like women who take up acting have an advantage over men who take up acting because I feel like every woman at some has point been acting. <laughs> and they do it so well, dude. I've had so many girls admit to me later in a relationship like, hey, you know, the first time we had sex, I faked it. I wanted to make you feel better. I'm like, God, damn. But like, you're like, they're so sweet. They want to make us feel I know, better. I know, I know. But I'd rather they didn't. Uh, yeah. I'd rather they didn't. I really yeah, no, same. Makes me work harder. Like, yeah, exactly, exactly. Give me a or challenge. Just, just like, don't tell me like you know tap out or something yeah. and it's like next time it's all right have you ever had anyway. a girl like tap out like unable, like she's come oh, but she yeah, can't yeah, make yeah, you come yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay I'm, I, I thought that was just yeah. me in my head i'm like it's, I, I i swear i have adhd like i'm i'm like 95 percent sure i just need to get like a medic someone with a phd to confirm oh, it honestly same same because like i start yeah. thinking about the random last time Dude. i had sex after work yeah and in my head i'm like fuck did i take out that order like the two whiskeys and the beer I'm like, I don't think I took it out. I was like, fuck, I think those people are like still waiting for their drinks. And like, this is like four in the morning, like the bar has been closed. And that's all I'm thinking about. Like, and I'm like, someone's daughter is there next to me. Like, and I'm just like, did I take out the whiskeys? (laughs) Did I fill in my FS3s this month? (laughs) Did Did I take out the garbage? No, but, but actually that happens to me mostly afterwards during some, actually during sometimes. I I'm not sure if I get distracted. I don't know what it is. So but I think about me, don't you? No, then I come quicker. Uh. But <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just really like grind. You have to grind it out. You know what I mean? You just like soon, soon. If I keep going long enough, it'll come. But anyway, um, no. Afterwards, sometimes you want know a girl like tells you like, "What you thinking about?" Oh. Uh, <laughs> Literally, and I, I like. <laughs> Do you normally say nothing because you don't want to admit what you are actually thinking about? There are a lot of times, like, if I'm really tired, I'm just, like, zoning out. I'm like, oh, I'm just, like, zoning out. Yeah, exactly. But then there are times that I'm thinking of, like, the randomest shit. Like, you know those memes? It's like, he's probably he's probably thinking about other women. And it's, like, the, the weird shit men think about. Yes. 
I genuinely believe that most of the time when men say nothing, it doesn't actually mean nothing. It just means I can't really explain to you where I was and how I got there. Like the other day, the other day, I literally, um, I got this question and I was like, honestly, do you really want to know? And she was like, yeah, I really want to know. I really want to know. And I was like, I'm thinking like, what the fuck's fire? (laughs) <laughs> what? You, know what I mean? you know what I mean what's fire what's fire there's it's, the four elements right there's earth wind water fire earth matter material yeah. right um, wind it's whatever forces and it's pushing like air particles at you whatever water again is a liquid um, H2O what the fuck's fire it's not a solid it's not a liquid fire it's a gas is a sudden change of matter but what's the fire? What's the? Th- why is there this fucking? Is it just? Why is the light? Why is it like that? Like what's fire, dude? Because it catches. It ca- oh what's my. fire? It's heat. Like it heats up to a point. And but it's not just heat. It, it looks like a thing. You see it. It's a thing. Yeah, but, but you it's can't not a touch thing. it. But you can't. But it's a thing. What? It, what's fire, dude? I'm causing doubt. I can see you. I can see it. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to like go back to like my physics O level and be like, explain what is fire. Just having like an existential crisis as a 16 year old. What is fire? <laughs> it's probably Fuck. Like, it's probably like a collection of energy being released, and that's just how we experience it's, it. Or it's something. a chemical change. No, it's a chemical change because you can't reverse it. Not a physical change because physical change can be reversed, but you can't turn ash into wood again. So it's a chemical change. No, you can't necessarily reverse all physical changes. Physical, that's the definition. Physical change can be reversed. Yes. Chemical change can't be reversed. Really? This is like form two science I'm remembering here. Bruh, I had A level chemistry. I you had A level chemistry? Yeah, I don't remember this shit. Can you make drugs? <laughs> uh, oh my god, no, change something. Change something. <laughs> We're incriminating. No, okay. no, 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 actually, it's not incriminating. No, um, there, I, I can't. But there was a time. There was I, a time when I was, when I was, when I was a like, wee little lad. Yeah, when I was about your age, actually, where I was taking a lot of MDMA, and um, I I looked into um, buying um, all the chemicals necessary and all the like equipment necessary to make MDMA. Like I think at the time, like a thousand euro investment. But there was this one chemical um, that was like very controlled, but you could you could import it with like. Uh, it's 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 used in like like developing film. Okay. Um, so that's the one way you can like get it get it through. But uh, but yeah, I never ended up doing that. I like, thankfully, I because I think it's, I don't think it's been smart. It's a very like, you, long... you have too much fuckboy energy already. Then like the last thing you need is to start selling drugs. Like no 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 no. no. We're not gonna sell drugs. Gonna personal sell use drugs. only. Personal use only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, sexual fears. I don't know. Sexual how. fears. <laughs> I don't know how we made that. Fucking... That's, that's a genuine <laughs> sexual fear. She's like popped a pill of MDMA. And now she's gonna chew your cock off. Like. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Um, that, that's never happened to me before. But anyway, um, so me, uh, men's fears. Let's continue with men's fears. Uh, the condom will break um, during sex, which will result in an unintended preg- pre- pregnancy. I feel like you realize it breaks. Yeah, most of the time. Because all of a sudden you're like, oh, wow, why is it so nice now? <laughs> exactly. You get the cock too, too. You get the too, <laughs> <laughs> um, right, you're, you'll ejaculate prematurely uh, Your partner will find your naked body unattractive You won't be able to perform You're bad at sex Your penis is too small Your partner will think you are inexperience, inexperienced uh, It will be awkward after sex Interesting um, I feel well, like have, you, have you ever experienced any of these uh, uh, fears? Uh, not, not fears, but like some of them have happened to me Uh-huh like the, um, so, okay, I've had the condom break on me. Yeah, of course. It was one of those Korean ones I talk about in my set. Yeah, you've obviously got gonorrhea a couple of times. I didn't, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, oh my God. No, I, I have never had an STI, but like I got close. How do you get close? Because she got, she got it from someone else. And then like we were supposed to meet up, but I couldn't meet up because I, I, I went abroad. Oh, like you fucking Matrix dodged that shit. Literally like fucking Neo- just oh, leaning man. back like That's dodging like AIDS. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. What did you get? Uh, <laughs> what did you almost get? I almost got... Oh, I don't want to say it because she's going to know. I can't say it because this person's going to know. And there's like, there's I two mean... or three people this could be about. So like, I've not incriminated <laughs> myself. But if she sees this, she will call me and be like, <laughs> Fosh come on, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's not an STD. <laughs> it's exactly. It doesn't count. Hey, it doesn't, doesn't count. count. Good. Doesn't I've never count. had an STD then. <laughs> um, okay. Um, let me see. Have you ever, have you ever like gone, had a limp dick, like, you not been able to like, you know, get it up? Okay. It's happened to me like because of alcohol before. No, alcohol doesn't really do that to me. It happened to me once that I... Okay, if I'm tired, it takes a little bit longer for, for Johnny yeah. to get going. Um, one time, it just wasn't working. And I was I was like, uh, like, okay, don't worry. I can just go down on you. Literally, bro. I got... To, uh, by the time I was on top of her and my mouth was like this far away from her, her vagina, I was hard. It was crazy. I because we, we had spent like fucking ten minutes like trying to get it going. And I was just like, just, just like the dirty it's talk. It's fine. I and can't wait to put your cock in my mouth. <laughs> 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 I mean, my cock in your mouth. Fuck. Ah, Damn it! It happened. It's again. weird when I'm you sorry. say it to me. There's the door. Just go. Just go. It's weird when you say it to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jokes on you. I don't have a cock. I I, I mean, you've obviously like come early, right? No. Uh, once I was talking with this guy and she was really nice like I really, really liked her and uh, it was just like one of those you know like you ever meet a girl like straight away and you're just like fuck I think I'm in love yeah it was one of those situations they don't have big old titties and uh, <laughs> actually that's a lie and it was, they don't have really nice ass it uh, was uh, <laughs> it was like four or five in the morning I just finished work ended up at like a random hotel room it was great like it was great sure like too th- great th- too great like <laughs> yeah. like book a flight the next day kind of great follow her wherever she leaves yes, in this yes, world yes, okay like, i know who this girl is i know what you're talking about <laughs> oh shit yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't early it was just earlier than normal like okay okay um, like if i was 12 it wouldn't have been early fair enough uh <laughs> <laughs> such a weird <laughs> so women's fears yeah <laughs> wait 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 i want to see i want to see the others have you have you ever worried about your dick being too small? No, I feel like when I start, like when I was younger, I was like, because you know, like what you see in porn, it's top one percent, like, literally, yeah. Like I, I've done, I wrote this bit recently about like how massive dudes' dicks are in porn, because like sometimes you will see like just a normal dick in porn. Mm-hmm. It's like that homemade shit, you know. Yes, yes. You're yes. like, look at this guy. He's doing that with that. Good for him, man. Like, yeah. look at this guy. It it makes you feel better about yourself. Hundred percent. It's like it's like watching the Special Olympics, man. Like you just. It makes the world a better place. <laughs> You're gonna get cancelled so quick. So quick. I'm not sure. I feel like that's the least offensive topic yeah, no, that's been covered <laughs> on this podcast today. Okay, no, and if anything, you're you're saying that that um, I'm saying it as a good guys thing. With, with smaller dicks than the top one percent are retarded. Is what you're saying? What? <laughs> no, I said it makes you feel better. And like, look at him doing this. Like when you see when you see Oscar Pistorius. Yeah. Like, look at Oscar Pistorius. He's a he's a uh, an amputee. You know, he's he's got both yeah. his legs missing. You know, look, look he's, at, he's look a performer. The, he's he's one of the best murderers like one of the ones like he's like he wasn't a serial killer he just killed one person but we still all know about him like i feel like he did so much with what he had <laughs> you know <laughs> like oh, shit. i'm just like good for him man he's doing this oh one of the best i've never thought i'd hear anyone say he was one of the best murderers around you know <laughs> was, was, he was john was wayne the gacy overweight motherfucker still killed all those little boys you know like you know sometimes, what i mean sometimes sometimes you you know you have a product that's worse than the competition but you just have great marketing no yeah. no yeah. uh, like all jokes all jokes aside like about yeah. the special olympics there's this there's one guy so i used to do archery when i was younger yes i was i i did it for a really long while and there's this one guy. He's got he's got no arms, mm-hmm. and uh, and he shoots with his with feet. His fucking feet! I've and he grabs he grabs the the gear. It's, he does Olympic arts, you know, tradition. And he grabs the thing with his mouth, and he's like fucking scary accurate, bro. Impressive, like superhuman level. Kind Impressive. Of accurate, no, I've seen, him, I've seen him. I've seen him. I I literally that's like so inspiring, man. It like, really is. When when I go and shoot, and I'm like super shit. I'm like this guy can do it like this. I need to step my game up. Yeah, it yeah, encourages yeah. me. It pushes me. No, it's 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 true. And like that, the the Special Olympics. To to your point, 
has I, I feel can either make you feel one of two ways depending i think on your your personality and how <laughs> mature you are it'll either make you feel like wow look how inspiring with, with all these limitations look at what they can do exactly like, wow you know i'm inspired to do better or you can be like this guy ain't got no fucking arms and he can lift more weight than <laughs> i can <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> 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 like uh, I was watching one the other day, but I can't remember it. Madonna it was something like that. It was like some guy Allah pulling a weight up with his fucking teeth, and, and it was, he was more jacked than I was. I was like, literally, bro. Well done. Um, have you ever, so women's fears? Women's fears. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, what fears. were you gonna ask? What were you gonna ask? I was gonna say, have you ever felt awkward after sex? Yes. Yes. Have you ever like you know when you when you like hook up? Well, it's like it's like very clearly a hook up. Like you both agreed that it's yeah. just a hook up. There's nothing behind it, and it's like someone you know in a different context or something like that. And you, after you like done, you're just like, anyways, this was great. I'm just gonna like you know head off. And mm-hmm. you're like, no, but like you know you should like hang out and stay. I'm like, no, like that's, that's how you catch feelings. And I was like, that's a big no no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, unless you're super emotionally unavailable like me, sleepovers are probably a bad idea. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, okay, there was there was another one. Um, your partner will find your naked body unattractive. Have you ever, have you ever felt felt that before? No, felt that fear. When when I was a little bit chunkier, mm. I had this girl like suck on my on my on my man boob, and I just no, felt really no, uncomfortable. No, no, I hated that. No. I liked it. <laughs> no, joking. Like, no, 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 you liked no. it more power to it. That's amazing. <laughs> no, but, but she just started doing it. And she was like, she's this girl's bi, right? So in my head, I'm like, no, this is not happening. Like, this is this is not No. And she's like no, biting I would, on it. I couldn't. She's like, I couldn't. And I'm like fucking the shit out of her. And, and she's oh sucking <laughs> she's sucking your man. <laughs> you got you gotta cut this, bro. You got you gotta cut this. No like my way, parents are gonna see this. Absolutely <laughs> no chunk. This is this I know, is, oh my god. You just gave me <laughs> How can you say that a, a bisexual girl was sucking on your man boob and expect me to cut that? <laughs> oh, I regret coming to this podcast so much. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's talk about women's fears. Let's talk Let's about, talk women's, about fears. women's fears. Fuck. So your partner won't want to wear a condom is number one. I think that's a really like yeah. yeah, yeah if he doesn't want to wear if she when girls go no no you you don't have to wear a condom I'm like yeah I have to wear a condom. <laughs> I'm like no no I I have yeah, to wear yeah, a condom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, number two, your partner has an STD. Uh, three, the condom will break, result in an unintended pregnancy. Uh, four, your partner will find your naked body unattractive. Five, your partner will not take no for an answer. That That's fucking scary. Yeah, that's... I, uh, I couldn't imagine, like... Uh, six, your partner will want to do something you're not comfortable with. Uh, seven, an embarrassing bodily function will occur during sex. Eight, your partner won't have an orgasm or be satisfied. Nine, you won't have an orgasm or be satisfied. I love how that's number nine. nine They're like so considered have, it's all the way down there. Yeah. You want to have an orgasm with it? Uh, ten, you are bad at sex. Um I've 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 had sex with girls who are bad at sex. Yes. I still can't complain. Like don't it's, worry. Yeah, about it's it. not, like it doesn't take It's like much. an espresso. You can't fuck it up, okay? Like just uh, you can burn it to shit. Yeah, okay, you can bite someone's dick while it's out. Like you know, it's it's it, you can fuck it up. It's just like yeah. it's hard to fuck it up. I think I think the ways girls can be bad really is if they're yeah if they if they hurt you if they like bite too hard or scratch too hard it's, it's hard though uh, it's kind of like, like a, to a limit I've had a girl slap me really hard once she said you got slapped she was like she wanted me to slap her yeah and I was like I'm, I'm really not comfortable with that I was like because really because if like she this girl changes her mind or something and she goes out and she's like he hit me all of a sudden and it's it's like that and i'm just like no like yeah. think about it if if a girl comes out with a bruise on her face and goes he hit me you wouldn't even think you'd go into like like i mean like, hunter gatherer mode how you're just like caveman you, like how hard are you hitting these girls she wanted me to like hit her. i'm not uh, hitting no, any no, girls no, i just no, want to put no, this out no, no. she wanted me to like hit her hit her and she, i was like no i can't and then i like i was putting my hand on her face like you know just caressing her like like she's like no not like that she's like like this and she she smacks the shit out of me, like, and literally, just, my face did this, and I was just like, yeah. I don't know how to react now, and I'm just like, yeah, you can't just slap what? me, dude. She literally, she was just like, yeah. like this, and, damn, but, like you, fucking Jack Harlow on some girl's boy's girlfriend, like, you know, 
He sent her Luke, back to her boyfriend, boyfriend with, with his hand hand print print on, on her ass cheek. Oh my god, no, I've never slapped a girl that hard. Like I've never left a mark. But I think I have a, I think I attract a certain type of girl. Of, of girl? Yeah, they're like one of those girls, you know, like the they want to be spat on and slapped and just like like abused. The fuck boy energy, man. The fuck I don't know. I need, I think I need to get some of this fuck boy energy. Fr- I need to get a sleeve. <laughs> I, th- I feel like if I get a sleeve. A friend of mine says I have daddy vibes. Daddy vibes. Yeah, I think it's no, the, I the look glue. like a dad. Like, look at what I'm wearing. This is like, I will, uh, this is master of the grill attire kind of thing. Like, master, that is really true. <laughs> this is like, I expect with a beard. Look at the, I'm wearing yeah. orange socks and like fucking teal shoes. Yeah, to be okay? honest, you may be saying that I look at that and all it codes for is like Gen Z. Gen Z. Yeah. No, this is like this is what this is what lesbians looked like in my day. <laughs> you know what's really sad? I have a lot of all of my friends are lesbians and like when we go out drinking in summer, especially we're all wearing the dad shirts yeah. from Pull and Bear. So like there are nights where we like like three of us show up and we're wearing the same thing. And they're gay, so it's cute when they do it. They're like, Oh my god, my sister, we're matching. Haha. Yeah. When I'm there, I'm just the weird guy who dressed like a lesbian, like and with this haircut, okay? Like, there isn't fucking much I can do, okay? Because everyone just assumes like that you're a lesbian. I'm an honorary lesbian. Like yeah, I've eaten, taking tea, taking I've eaten that much pussy. Like that I'm I'm an honorary lesbian. You are what you eat. Uh. <laughs> yep, that's why I'm chicken nuggets and a lesbian. Um, Wait, no, I don't eat lesbians. But yeah, but so like the difference is yeah between the men's spheres and the women's spheres. The men's is mostly all about like performance. Mm-hmm. Right? Like they won't be able to like please their partner. With the women, it's it's more about like sexual coercion essentially like will the guy respect my boundaries more or less like those are their largest yeah. fears which makes sense right i mean because it does not there's a lot especially of like, what i was telling you right like i'm taller than 97 percent of the women on the fucking planet like i feel like you just want to flex this now no it's not even, it's not even a flex dude because then because then there's another part to, to that equation which is that like women all right they like guys that are taller than them but they also like guys that are like about an inch or two taller than the average of the culture that they're in at the moment so for okay. example in the netherlands fine i'll be taller than 75 percent of the women I'd but i'll be shorter than 80 percent of the men so that will be a very I'd, big I'd probably like never get laid in the netherlands yeah probably not probably not i'm How tall, tall, like, how tall I'm, are you? I'm six foot but what's like in centimeters you know Hundred something, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> hundred something. But it's a, six foot. I think it's like one eighty, one eighty two. Siri, what is six feet in centimeters? One eighty two point eight eight. Nice. You're a little bit below average in the fucking Netherlands. I'm a little bit below average. Average is one eight five, dude. One eight five. Like, yeah, six one, six one. Something like that. I mean, I I, sh- I still have like two more years of growing. Well, one more year, yeah. one year and two months of growing. Uh, no, one, year, one year, one month, possibly. and like 15 days of growing. Yeah, possibly. Because at 21, different, you stop growing, no? Different people stop at different ages. I stopped at fucking 15, dude. You stopped? You were this fucking tall at 15? I was this tall, I think at 13, honestly. Motherfucker. Yeah, I was big. I was a big boy. Do you still fit in your clothes from like when you were 15? Possibly. Just like a little Wu-Tang Clan t-shirt, like that's all like bleach, yeah. bleach stains. <laughs> More like and Eminem and 50 Cent. <laughs> um, but... Uh, Wait, can, uh-huh. can I pause? Pause, pause, pause. So I sent a screenshot of your thing. And I said, he's blowing up to James Ryder, uh-huh. to which he replied with. <laughs> and he called me. Ostia. I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, let, let's bring James on the pod. Okay. <laughs> Put him on speaker. User busy. Oh, ah, all right. Well, let's see. If it calls back, we'll we'll answer. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay. So many notifications, man. I work in social media. Like, look, yeah. like literally, I had my phone off for like, I don't know how long we've been recording, and like the fucking notifications. Ah, uh, Musha, good. They, literally, five minutes ago, 30, 30 minutes ago, twenty-eight minutes ago. Clear all. There we go. Um. I was going to say something about women, your partner, not, ah, the, 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 you know, your partner will not take no for an answer. That, that being like quite a big, um, fear, fear for women. Sorry. I'm just going to read something. Yeah. No, sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Cause you like blocked a little bit. Um, yeah, that's, 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 I'm a bit hesitant to give this advice cause it can be used as like, 
a manipulative tactic. Because uh-huh. a lot of times women will do this almost as a test where let's say you, you go out with a, with a girl first uh-huh. first time or second time, third time, whatever. You end up back at your place, your, your clothes are coming off, you're about to have sex. Many, many times it has happened to me where a girl would be like, like, oh, I'm not sure, I don't want to. My response is always like, okay, it's cool. Then normally what happens is that we stay in bed, we end up talking, we end up like we keep fooling around or whatever. We end up having sex. Okay. And a lot of times, yeah, women will do that as like a test of, is he going to respect this boundary? Now, I genuinely don't care. Like I genuinely, um, uh, uh, if, we don't, if we don't have sex, that's okay. Like mm-hmm. we'll probably have sex eventually. It's fine. Um, or even if we don't. Whatever. Dan plays the long game, folks. Okay, he he plays the long game. The long game, and just like if, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, part part of the he's a Bitcoin thing. investment kind of guy. <laughs> he uh, he waits for the stocks, like <laughs> exactly. But but right, like I, I I so basically, what guys should do is just be cool about it, and you're probably gonna have sex anyway. Yeah. But I am hesitant to say that because like a lot of guys can do that. Um, as a, as a manipulation game, right? Like, uh, I know how she's going to respond if I do this. So I'm going to do this. Not because it's the right thing to do, but because it's going to get me laid. And that, that's... It's kind of like when, when your parents are joking with you, like, oh, we, we didn't get you a present for your birthday. And the kid's like, it's okay. Don't worry. And then he's like, sure. Didn't get me anything. It's like, you know, four o'clock now. <laughs> Where's my present, bitch? And, you know, and then he just like fucking full on snaps. Exactly. Little Timmy. <laughs> Timmy. Where are you, Timmy? He's with Cosmo and Wanda. All right. So that's sex fears. So you don't have, you, there's nothing that you particularly fear. fear. Like no. before or after or, or like something maybe you think about or you have in the past that you maybe got over. I have a, I don't know. I used to have like, like when I had just broken up with my ex, like like something like a like a thought would come back or like a memory or something, or she says something that she used to say or something like that. Ah, uh, of course. And then it would have me in that weird headspace, and I'd just be like, "Yo, I can't do this," and I'd like leave. I've okay, done that a okay, okay. Times. Like like do, when you're having, you're saying you'd be with another woman, yeah, and you'd have a memory of like an uh, ex or, or something. something like that. Yeah, that's happened to me before. So. I've, I've literally like I, I wouldn't and leave. left. I've never left. No, I've, I've like gotten up and left or like like stopped what we were doing. And it just makes me seem cooler now because now it's like I'm picky. She's like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. And then she's like, why? But I want to. And it's like, oh, it's like a challenge. They don't know how to deal with that shit. That women don't know how to deal with being with turned down. We, yeah, they're so bad at it. So the other day I felt, I felt so bad. It was like, uh, it's in the morning. I was in a rush and I was really tired. And this girl was like trying to have sex with me and I was just like, uh, you know, we need like we need to leave, isn't it? And she's like, ah, we can have a quickie. And I'm like, ha, 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 I'm like laughing kind of awkwardly. And she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, honestly, I just don't want to have sex with you right now. Like, I, I'm, I don't feel like. She got so, you know, touchy about it. She got so, she got offended. Like she felt, that she felt rejected know. basically. It wasn't, it wasn't like I was saying like you're unattractive or we had sex last night, but it was just, I don't feel like right now. And it's so, it feel, and I feel so weird, bad. I feel because, so bad. Because if a guy it. gets upset about a girl not wanting to have sex, then it's like completely like socially unacceptable. It's of like, course, of course. It's of inappropriate course. behavior. Yeah. But men but are it's the other way around. To, yeah. Because there's this expectation that men always oh, want no. to have sex. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, really we do, true. but like you can't just assume yeah. it, you know? You've got to romance it's, us a bit. It's not, Tickle our balls, it's you not know? really true. Like people have different uh, sex, sex drives, drives eh? basically. And the honestly, libido, women are hornier. Like there's this, there's this one heuristic, which is, I think, very true, which is no, no woman is more of a slut than a, than a girl in love. That's beautiful, man. It is. Beautiful. Dan, 2022. <laughs> <laughs>